All right, so got a lot of stuff going on today. Plus, we've got a uh, like an anniversary thing we have to go to today. So this thing here, I just finished changing the headlight on. Mustang, I went and picked the headlight up from the store and got it warm. And I'm uh, in the process of doing an, its annual oil change because there's absolutely no reason to uh, change it. To change it every uh, well. There's no more. There's no reason to change it more than uh, once a year because there's no miles on it. And then here, I got to get the garden tiller out. We're going to get the garden in yet today, as well. And that's all got to kind of be done before noon. So, and then I had to get this thing out. So, yeah. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Subaru. I think it needs tires rotated. So I'm going to see what I can get done. I also would like to get a little bit further on this. This process too, I got this all nice and uh, spar varnished or spar urethane I should say. So I still didn't pick up any metal, I don't know. I might take this down uh, down by my parents and see if I can get some uh, iron. Maybe I should talk to my dad and see if he can pick some up otherwise. Alright, so I got the oil changed on this thing. So that's done. Um, there was a thousand thirty one miles on oil change and it was changed back in I think May right about this time so about a year um, I don't know what else I'm gonna do with this thing this year I look back at what I did I actually did quite a bit last year I think I did a gas gas filter or fuel filter I don't know if I did the uh, antifreeze or if that was the year before um, I had to put this hood down so yeah, I'm going to get this thing out, and the Subaru's next, it needs uh, rotating uh, tires, that's at about 7,000 miles, so I usually do every five, five for that for rotating. Alright, so rotated the tires, to, did the normal uh, X pattern where the uh, front goes to the opposite side back, and then the front, or the rear just comes up to the front. So, alright, that's done, next thing is to get the uh, garden tilled here. All right, so I'm gonna get the uh, tiller going here so we can uh, get that garden planted here. Well, that started pretty easy. All right, so it's been a while. So I'm gonna run this thing, do a uh, just a like I'd say monthly uh, running of it, but it's it's been longer than a month, but so definitely overdue. So hopefully it starts up here without too much uh, cranking or starting here. The last time it took a little bit longer. Yeah, it's kind of like what it did last time. No, I think we got it. Oh, maybe not. So, I'm trying a different way here, putting stuff in. So, in the back there, I put the tractor in sideways. It gives me a ton more room here if I'm working on stuff. So, I mean, that's good, and I got plenty of space there. I got some boards for the trailer. Um, I just wish it was a little bit wider here. The lawnmower is kind of tight on this side, getting it in. So, I don't know if I like this or not, but I think it's easier to get the trailer out because the other way, it's hard to get the trailer out this door because this is only a 8 foot wide door. Or 9. 9. It's nine wide and uh, it's hard getting the trailer out with the tractor alongside so this way I can just drive the lawnmower out and pull the trailer out because I'm going to be using this trailer every uh, every Thursday I'm, I'm guessing for cutting the grass so all right that's the end of this one here. <laughs> 